No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is staying safe. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video I just want to talk about how you can create positive and productive habits while working from home. Now for those of you that have read my lifestyle design playbook, this video will sound quite familiar because I've literally taken the tactics, tips and tricks out of that playbook. Uh, for those of you that have not read the playbook just yet, you can purchase it on Teachable or if you sign up for the free lifestyle design community on Facebook, you also get it for free because all new members uh, get the ebook free of charge. So if you want to sign up to the uh, free Facebook group, then it will be linked in the description box down below. So as I mentioned, um, today we're going to be talking about like, positive habits um, that you can create uh, or basically that you can create to make your life easier while working from home because obviously we all know what's going on nowadays and most of us are in lockdown, in quarantine or just working from home. And uh, one of the most life-changing things for me was batching. So for those of you that do not know what batching is, it's basically doing a, a specific task that you do almost every single day on one particular day in one go. So quick example, uh, for me, I upload three to five times a week on YouTube. By the way, guys, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do and click on that little bell icon so you get a notification every single time I upload. But like I said, I upload three to five times a week. And if I do that every single day, that means that it takes me about five to 10 minutes to clear on my desk, uh, another 15 minutes to think of what can I actually you know, to tell you guys that is valuable. Another 10 minutes setting up my camera, another 10 minutes, um, you know, like setting up the lighting, etc. Then it takes me a half an hour to edit, uh, color grading, and then upload to YouTube. You've got to add the thumbnail, the tags, the subscription, you know, all stuff like that. And that will cost me roughly one hour, uh, one to two hours a day. But if I batch it all in one go, it will take me maybe, you know, four hours total. And then that is it, you know. So rather than uh, it me costing me, one hour a day for five consecutive days i can do it all in like i said three to four hours on one day and then literally save myself two extra hours a week okay and that is obviously you know uh, youtube which is just a quick example but you can do this for other things as well so what is it that you do on a daily basis that you can actually batch in one go on one particular day for example for me on thursdays I schedule out questions and comments for the free Facebook group. I schedule my Instagram posts. I'm not really too active on Instagram anymore because of the Facebook group, obviously. But on Thursdays, I used to batch all my posts for Instagram uh, so that they basically go out you know, once a day uh, for the rest of the week. Um, and obviously, you know, that is very much social media focused. But you, know, you can apply this for every aspect of your life. So what are you doing every single day that you can batch in one go on one particular day. For example, if you cook roughly the same meal every single day, you can meal prep it at the start of the week and have that for every single day of the week. And yes, you know, it might not be as fresh and you might not get that, you know, that proper fresh taste or whatever, but if you just put them in the freezer in little Tupperwares in the freezer, you know, it's almost the same thing and we're going for productivity here. We're trying to make life as easy and as streamlined as possible. So, you know, it's definitely worth doing it. And I highly recommend you do a meal prep in this case, which is what I do as well. Every Sunday, I try and meal prep for the entire week, okay? So that's the very, very first tip that uh, I can give you. And like I said, one of the, the tips that have made my life much, much easier. And I've also been much, much more productive because of it, because I've got more time on my hands, okay? Speaking of time, obviously now that we are working from home, there is no real deadline, okay? We don't need to clock in at nine and we don't need to clock out at five. This is obviously for those of you that are used to working uh, for a boss or have that nine to five job. But the tips I'm going to give you now can also apply for freelancers or people that are like working from home full time or have their own online agency or, or you know, uh, people with entrepreneurial tendencies, etc. What you can do to make life easier for you is give yourself a deadline, okay? We all know Pareto's law, where basically the time that it takes to complete a task will expand, you know, given the time that uh, you give it. So for example, if something, uh, if you have a year 
to accomplish a specific task, chances are it will actually take you one year. But if you give yourself a deadline and say that you want to achieve it in a month, chances are that you'll figure out a way to achieve it in a month. And the biggest example I can give you for this is when studying for tests back in school, okay? So I used to um, not necessarily procrastinate, but obviously when starting out, you know, you're, you're not as motivated to get things done because you know you've still got all the time in the world to do so. Then when that deadline comes closer, you, you get that, that, that moment of panic and, you know, you, you, you basically start going into full fight or flight mode and, you know, the adrenaline uh, kicks in and you start studying and, you know, you for some, you know, as if by magic you actually pass that test and you do all of the grunt work, you know, the last um, few hours before that test or the night before, something like that. And the same goes for other aspects of life. If you want to, I don't know, write your own ebook, okay? Now, you are the person that decided that, so it doesn't really, you know, there's no like external deadline that you need to uh, follow. But if you give yourself a deadline, you'll notice that you'll achieve so much more. For example, you know, if I, uh, so I wrote my ebook, uh, between my travels to Rome and my travels to Canada. There was one week gap where I was at home and other than run my agency, there was not really much for me to do that week. So I gave myself the deadline of writing an entire ebook. And an ebook will probably cost me about two, three months to write out, etc. But because I gave myself a week, I actually achieved it in a week. And yes, you know, that week was hard work and I, I did put a lot of effort into it, but I got it done within the week because Pareto's law, okay? Your, the task will expand in time, you know, as much as the time you'll give it, okay? So that's something that uh, I do highly recommend is to give yourself a deadline each and every day. So even though you are working from home and you haven't got those strict deadlines, make sure that you start work at, let's say, eight o'clock in the morning and you try and get all of your tasks finished by six or seven o'clock at night, okay? Because you give yourself that deadline, you'll notice that you'll be more productive because you know that by seven o'clock, that laptop needs to be shut and you need to be done with all of your tasks. Speaking of tasks, obviously, a to-do list is something that I highly recommend as well. Just having a to-do list on paper, no apps, no fancy computer software, etc. Just pen and paper, write down what tasks you want to achieve that day and then do two things, okay? Write down, which three tasks are the most important and also write down which tasks are income producing activities, also known as IPAs, okay? Now, if you're anything like me, the most important tasks are actually the income producing activities, but you know, if in some cases it might be that those are completely you know, separate tasks from you and you've got tasks that won't necessarily you know, get you income, but are just important for you uh, in, your, in that moment in your life. But like I said, figure out which ones are the most important and which ones are the income producing activities and do those first or just do those and uh, you know basically delegate or eliminate all of the other tasks because they are not important, okay? So focus on the income producing activities and write down your three most important tasks and do those first or just do those, okay? And then lastly, before we actually finish off this video, if you have your to-do list and the things that you do on a daily or weekly basis, just analyze each and every task on that list and just think to yourself, is there a way to automate it, to delegate it, or just flat out eliminate it, okay? So every single task on your to-do list, just think to yourself, okay, is there a software that can do this on my behalf? Is there someone else that can do it for you know a cheaper price? Or is this actually an important task? Quick example, I require you to write down your email address uh, before you can actually, you know, enter my uh, Facebook group. And that is basically to figure out, you know, who is actually genuinely, you know, wanting to get access to the group um, from those who are just create spam accounts and just, you know, want to enter the group for the sole reason of, you know, just spamming the account and adding loads of comments, etc. okay? So what I do is to make sure that that person is an actual human being, I ask them to fill out their email address. Now, obviously this is great for me as well because it's a way of generating free leads, okay? So for those of you that enter the group, um, I then have your email address. And if there's something that I think can help you in terms of a new YouTube video, maybe a f info product or maybe additional coaching or anything like that, I can then send an email to that person and say, listen, you know, um, I've noticed that, uh, you've been struggling with this and this, I have. N I now have this as a solution, okay? Those emails I used to manually add into my notes, except that person 
on Facebook, in the Facebook group, and then once every while, you know, I used to consider this as batching, I used to e uh, upload all those emails to Active Campaign, which is my email software, okay? Now, I looked at that task and thought to myself, okay, is there a way to get you know, some type of program or virtual assistant that can get those emails and add them to that Google Sheet so I do not need to consistently do that myself, okay? So at first, I got myself a virtual assistant, so I delegated that task to add them all to Google Sheet, and then I added Zapier, which uh, is automation, to upload those emails from Google Sheet to Active Campaign. Secondly, I thought, no, this should be much more streamlined and automated, so rather than getting a virtual assistant to do the manual uh, copy and pasting into a Google Sheet, I actually found software online um, that will do that for me. So every single time I accept everyone that fills out their email address in the Facebook group, that email gets automatically sent to a Google Sheet and then Zapier does the rest, okay? So again, that is just my way of automating as much as possible. And like I said, for every single task that you have on that to-do list, there is a way to either automate, delegate, or eliminate if it's not a most important task or income producing activity. Okay, so I hope you got something out of this. Hope you found this useful. Leave a comment down below if you previously did not work from home and you are now working from home and you know uh, just your experiences on it. Anything that uh, can help anyone in the community along the way, obviously feel free to share it. Like this video if you've got something out of it. Comment down below also what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>